Hey guys, I'm Alicia. And I'm Alexa. And welcome back to our YouTube channel. So it's been a while since you've seen our faces on here and we're super sorry about that. Yeah, we never intentionally wanted to take a break off YouTube. It sort of just happened, but we're here to explain why, which is why we had this life update for you guys so you guys can know what we've been doing while we've been gone. And we have a little Q&A, which is questions from our Instagram. Exactly, so we're just gonna jump right in because we're really excited. So a little bit for the life update, summer of 2020 in June, we got the opportunity to move out to LA. We were 17. We jumped on that opportunity and fast forward six months later, we are still in LA. In our own apartment yes. and we're loving it still. We still post regularly on TikTok, Instagram, and Snapchat, which is something we've been doing for a while now. TikTok is still our free spirited content. It's a different video every day. It's a vlog, it's fitness, it's what we do in our day to day life. And then we have Instagram, which is like our closet. Yeah, we tag everything that we're wearing, where we got it from. We're always posting on our stories, new things that we're following, new products we're using. So that's a really helpful page to follow. If you exactly. Know. Exactly, and then our Snapchats are just personal, it's our individual platform. Yeah, it's just for fun. Exactly, so that's pretty much it. We're gonna jump right into the Q&A, which is questions you guys asked us from our Instagram story. The first one, which is probably the most asked one, mm -hmm. which is why did you stop doing YouTube? <laughs> like I said, we never intentionally wanted to stop. We actually stopped filming a couple months before we moved out to LA. Yeah, which was definitely due to like a creator's block, like we didn't really have any creative ideas, and yeah. we didn't want to just put an out like a video out there because we felt forced to, you know, we genuinely wanted to feel like we wanted to do it so and then moving out to LA definitely didn't help yeah there was exactly so much on our plate at the time yeah and we actually got if you guys don't know we got the opportunity to move out to LA because we moved into a TikTok content house so yeah. our main priority was TikTok yeah. and that's completely their fault. I wish we never stopped doing YouTube. I yeah, feel like it especially because LA would have been such a cool thing to like grasp on a camera. Yeah. But um, living with like 13 teenagers is just as chaotic as it might seem. So yeah, it was that's a for a different video. But <laughs> yeah, it was a lot at the time. But I mean, our life is still really up and exciting now. We definitely want to take you through it now. And we're a lot more settled now. We definitely have a schedule. We're going to start posting every Saturday. Mm -hmm. So you can look forward to that. We're gonna be super consistent. If you guys have any ideas you guys want us to see, or yeah. maybe just stories of living in LA you guys want us to hear, yeah. drop it down in the comments because this is something that we're gonna start doing on a daily. Yeah. The next question is, what has changed in your life since we last saw you? We have different answers, obviously, so I'll go first. Um, I feel like what has changed in me since you guys last saw me or for me is definitely I just feel way more in my element now. I'm a lot more dressed how I want to dress. I'm a lot more expressive. I kind of found my vibe that I want to stick through. I was going through a lot of aesthetics. You yeah. know, I'm a lot more spiritual now. Like, I know mm -hmm. what I'm interested in now, you know, and I, like, spread it to all my friends. So, Alicia's just as spiritual now because <laughs> everything I read, you know, I tell her. But, yeah, that's definitely my biggest hobby. For me, I feel like what's changed, well, one, we're completely independent right now. We mm -hmm. live alone. That's a big change from Florida. You guys know us from living in my parents' home, and now we're like adults, so yeah. Alexa drives now. Oh yeah, I drive now. <laughs> yeah, so um, here's our car. She's so cute. Okay, but yeah, I feel like with me, what's different, I mean, I have a boyfriend, so there's that. There's that. Um, that's for another question. I'm pretty sure I have a lot of questions on that, but yeah. I have a boyfriend now, like Alexa said, I feel like we have our aesthetics like super figured out. Yeah, we know who we are. Um, I don't know, I feel like it's such a vague question, yeah. but we're all, we're very genuinely happy. When we first moved to LA and we first got our apartment like four months ago, we were not in a good headspace. Yeah. We were like just moved, like my parents weren't here yet in California, so we were like very homesick. And it was like a really tough time, but I feel yeah. like now we're in like a good headspace and stuff, and that's like really good. Branching off of what I just mentioned, we have another question that's asking us if we have any mental health recommendations. And I feel like this is exactly. something- We do. Yeah, this, the whole mental health journey that we've been going through is something we have not talked about at all on our Instagram, right. at all on our TikToks. Like, I don't know, I feel like also being in LA, like there's just a lot of group of people who aren't from here, so it's like easy to feel alone and it's easy for work to feel like work even though it's just like content filming. But mm -hmm. I don't know, just especially being out here, you know that like you're only gonna take care of yourself. So I feel like we make sure we have that time, like okay, let's be done filming by five because after we wanna relax, like we're really big on our self care and yeah. making sure that we're good because that shows through in our content. Uh, just like Alexa said, the number one thing we've learned since we've like struggled with our mental health in the past months is like self-care is so necessary mm -hmm. like 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 I said we're lucky enough to have like jobs where we basically curate our entire day so mm -hmm. if we want to take an entire day for self-care and comfort foods and we can but I feel like even just taking time to journal at night mm -hmm. um, finding a new hobby like Alexa and her spirituality and like us and our fashion is definitely a big escape 
So on a lighter mood, the next question is, where do we get our fashion inspo from? Now, I love this question because we have vaguely different answers. <laughs> so I get my fashion inspo from TikToks, really, what people are creators right now, online, like yeah. creators online, even people that are, like don't even have a ton of likes, they have like a thousand likes, and I'm like, oh my god, did she just tie her shirt and put that corset on top of it? And like, mm -hmm. and that's what I love about TikTok and the For You page because it's like a fresh face every time. So I take a lot of my fashion inspo from what people are wearing now and like making it my own, if that makes sense. Yeah, I have a whole Pinterest board. I'm gonna literally- her, she's straight Pinterest. I's. I'm gonna show you my Pinterest board. It's gonna be right you here. You should put the link in the description. Yeah, and I'm gonna put the link in the description, but I'm very Pinterest. I'm like, New York fashion, make a board for New York fashion, make a board for LA fashion, make a, and I'm just like- Yeah, she's very and planned then, out and more spontaneous. Yeah, and then like off of the outfits that I see online like on Pinterest I'll find pieces of those in stores yeah um so yeah I feel like we can mention some of our favorite stores in LA if you guys oh, want yeah, to oh yeah for sure so they're all online too so yeah these shirts that you see us wearing right now are from I am Coco they're really cute they're like reworked graphic tees yeah she has a bunch of reworked stuff and her we get a lot of jeans from her a lot of shirts mm -hmm. we also shop at Zara we shop at H&M okay so the next question is do we still work out and we do we don't recently run we just yeah. got back into it. Yeah, we recently just got back to working out. I work out with my friend Tati McQuay a lot. Yeah, here in LA, a lot of open gyms are open, so we take soul cycling classes. We're gonna start doing boxing classes, and we still run on our own. Next question is What would you call this chapter in your life? Like me looking for a word that describes it? <laughs> um, I would, my chapter in my the chapter before this I called bittersweet because like I said I wanted to be out here in California but I was not as happy as I thought I was gonna be and now I feel like I'm in such a good headspace everything like the future is so clear for me so I think I would just title this chapter like growth I feel like right now we have so much growing to do especially mm -hmm. since things are getting better with COVID and things are opening up again and we can do everything safely I feel like right. there's a lot of opportunity for us to do a lot of things that's amazing so I would call my chapter redemption and not only because it's the Drake song that I can't stop listening to But because I just love the word it basically means being saved from sin And I feel like last year was just such a bad year for everyone It was just a lot of sinning like and sinning just means like doing something against yourself You know mm -hmm. doing things that you know don't serve you procrastinating being around people that bring you bad energy yeah. Unless watching things that make you that put you in a bad headspace You know we just had a lot of bad habits or at least I did in 2020 that I just feel like this month just I see everything differently I just feel like I'm being safe from sin That's and so I just feel brand new so yeah period and now off to our most exciting part and our special edition the speed round okay so speed round is gonna be like really quick <laughs> Duh. okay first one is do you guys have a boyfriend no yes okay Will you ever move back to Florida? Yes. yes. <laughs> I love Florida. Miss her. When you can start traveling again, what's your first destination spot? I want to go to Peru just because I miss it so much and uh, I just want to go back. Like That's really good. I want to go to Mexico. It's beautiful. I keep seeing it yeah. everywhere and it'll be fun. Do you feel at home living in LA? One, two? Yes. yes. I do. <laughs> Definitely made our house a home. And our parents are here. We have like a really good set of friends around us mm -hmm. and I love it. Next question. What does 814 mean? It's just my angel number. Yeah, mine's is 24. It's on my necklace. I don't know if you ever see that. Do you like Cali better or Florida better? One, two, three. Cali. <laughs> Florida. Florida. Really? Yeah. I just like Florida's vibe. And it's cold right now in Cali. <laughs> Ready? What's your favorite thing about Cali? One, two, three. The, the, the food. I can't even speak. Um, I really like lookouts. Like, oh, it's yeah, my the favorite views. thing in the entire world. The views are crazy. Yeah, the drives are nice. So hopefully we answered all of your guys' questions. This was super fun and long-awaited, but we're definitely in a place where we can start YouTube again, and we're really excited about it. So yeah, definitely keep a lookout for those Saturdays. They will be our posting days, so let us know what you want to see next. And we'll see you guys next Saturday. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>